This is my island. These are my people. And this is our life. I like Kuvalu because it's a land where I was born and I grew up there and I never want to leave Tuvalu. Our ancestors settled these islands 3,000 years ago. They lived off the land, growing their own crops and tending to their livestock. They fished in the sea and we do the same. At the end of the day, we rest just as they did. Tuvalu, like any other country, is uh, dear to its citizens. And we are very friendly people. We live in peace. You can sleep with the doors uh, unlocked and be assured that you, you, you get up in the morning to a nice sunrise and to a happy smile by anybody who passes you by. Recently, our little island has been introduced to globalization. Aloha! Aloha! I think so many things changed in Tuvalu. I see, when I was little, our land so many trees and like this, but now we have so many buildings and I can see also the, the land, some place is missing. What once was a calm and quiet place has grown busy with traffic, people and construction. Tuvalu struggles to keep pace with these changes. My name is uh, Peteli Paulo and I'm a school teacher with uh, Tuvalu. I was doing my postgraduate certificate in education when I was recruited by the director of education here in, in Tuvalu to come and teach. They have great potential, these students have, but uh, the the thing that's holding them back at best is the availability of, of resources to help them be the real students and show their actual potential. It's always been my dream to come back to Tuvalu and give something back because I'm Tuvalu. When BYU Hawaii's SAIF organization heard about Tuvalu, they couldn't wait to help. The students collected two tons of educational supplies to ship to Tuvalu. Then the students themselves arrived on our island with laptop donations for the schools.
Within hours of being in Tuvalu, eight of us found ourselves on the radio and we discovered we were coast to coast. Now the coast is only about 40 yards wide, but we were there. The laptops the BYU Hawaii SAIF members brought had an English learning software called Imagine Learning installed. After we trained the teachers in Tuvalu, we had an opportunity to train the Ministry of Education on the Imagine Learning software. And it was fun for us to see the excitement in their faces as they interacted with the games and the activities um, of the program. And as a result, they were able to take into consideration the mobile lab solution that we provided to allow more students in Tuvalu the opportunity to interact and to benefit from this program. The students were really well prepared to come teach their workshops to the students of Tuvalu to portray yourself with confidence, different types of body language, how body language is a powerful communicator, those kinds of things. And so those are the things that we taught. So bringing, you know, a team of people that they speak good English or they've grown up in another country, that was amazing, you know, to, um, to our people. I believe that bringing new knowledge and new skills to our people will make a big difference. The Tuvaluan women are very skilled and talented with their handicrafts, but they lack a market in which to sell them. So we sat down and we talked about ways that they could innovate their products. We found new tools that they'll now be using to increase production. We're setting up a website to help them with online sales, and they'll also be sending products regularly to a store on the mainland, with all profits being sent back to their island to empower them and their businesses. Koteaso nei, se koteaso ata e ao.